All right. So in this uh, this video, what I'd like to do is I want to explain um, some different types of output instructions that we can use. Up to this point, we've used our OTE, which is located right here. You can see if we click on it, it's output energize. We're using it right here just to turn on this light. Um, but I also want to talk about these next two you have right here. You have your output latch and you have your output unlatch. I'm sure you've uh, maybe accidentally clicked on this one, maybe it and you know use it in your program and it operates quite a bit differently. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how that works today. So we're going to be using our stop and start buttons and I'm going to be turning on a green light. Okay. So we can go ahead and we're going to go. Oops. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our latch and I'm going to go ahead and create a new rung. Insert another rung. We'll go ahead and do the latch up here. And then we're going to do our unlatch and we can just code these ones or address these ones exactly the same. We can go ahead and address them just like they were um, just they were, like they were light. Notice that there is two of them, meaning there's two output instructions that have the same address, which was a big no, no. If you remember kind of back in the beginning of this pro or this class where we talked about you can't have more than one output that is addressed the same. It confuses the uh, computer, which it and it this one does have its issues, um, but you have to because what we're going to do is the one output right here is going to latch this light on, and this one right here is going to unlatch that light, so it's going to turn the light off. So we're going to then take our buttons here, and remember these are um, they're not can, they're not like latching buttons. They are just um, you press them and then they pull back out. So we're going to go ahead and download. So I want to show you how this one will work. Yes. Oops. We actually have to make a little bit of a change. Sorry. So you can see right now we have a little bit of a problem. We have a normally closed in, um, button hooked up to our stop instruction. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and change that really quick. Um, something. Another thing that you're going to think about is that you actually have to go change the contacts out inside of that stop button. You could also go and change them to a um, change the instruction style or type to an OT XIO, I'm sorry. That way it, it actually works with that button, but it would probably be easier to just have it wired to a normally open button. Okay. All right, so now we're all good to go. So what happens when I press the start button, it will latch on my green light, which it does. And you can see that it even energizes our, um, our, uh, sorry, our latching bit right here. I believe if we look at the, at our, yep, our uh, data table here, it is showing a one. So it is latched on. I'm not holding the button in any way, shape or form. So what's gonna happen is now I can press my stop button and it's going to unlatch it, turn it off. All right, pretty cool, pretty slick, right? Um, and it kind of is, but it also kind of isn't at the same time. You're, I hopefully you guys will get very creative with how you can use these ones, but they're not the best thing out there. So the reason I say that is we'll go offline and I want to explain something called um, conditional type rungs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do this one above and take this guy. I'm going to change it back to a uh, actually let's let's keep this one running right here or keep it the same. I'm going to go ahead and set up an, a stop start latching, you know, circuit out, let's say, because it'll operate in the exact same way, right? If I do this, and just like that, use that one to latch itself on. I'm going to use this one to start it, and this one to stop it. So over here on the top rung, this should operate in the exact same way as these bottom two do, right? But this one is what they call conditional. So it is conditional um, amongst these instructions right here to be turned on. Okay. It's not going to be latched on and held on. And then if something, a wire gets cut or something to a button, it's going, it's going to, it's not going to keep running. Sorry to say that. So if we did this, this one here, we, we hit the start button, it latches on our light or let's, God forbid, it's a, a crusher or something like that. 
and uh, somebody steps away from the, the, the panel and somebody else hits the stop button and somebody could be getting hurt and the wires are, have been cut or they've fallen off the back of the control panel, what's going to happen? Well, that green light or that crusher is going to continue moving. It's not going to stop because it, it never received a signal to unlatch. Well, if that happens to this one right here, this conditional one, it actually will turn itself off because it don't long, no longer has power coming from that stop button. All right. Same thing goes for the, the start. It's going to be, it needs a signal from it to start it up. The, the reason we would like something more like this is because now we can add limit switches into our circuit here. So we can start adding, these could all be limit switches and we could do 10 limit switches per se, or we could do dead man switches or something like that. That might be a safety and it's conditional. So, this rung, all the whole setup right here has to be true for this output to be on. While these ones down here could latch on and they're just going to, you know, turn back on or turn on and stay on. That's all they do. These are really good for turning on lights um, and kind of just stuff that's not very important. I would say on average, you're going to want to do something that is conditional like this. OK, another thing is if we took this. And we started putting in run or different, let's say these were all limit switches. And the limit switches were all, you know, one of them became false. And then it, all three of them became true again. It's not going to latch or unlatch this bit. We would have to maybe put them down here. But again, nothing's going to relatch the start or this, this green light on. Okay. Get a little bit confusing because I don't know if that totally makes sense to you guys that this one would need to unlatch to turn off the light, but then we would need something to relatch the motor on or the light back on. So that's why these ones, this top rung is so useful. All right. So we're going to do some labs where we do some latching and unlatching. Um, but for the most part, I would, I would recommend kind of steering away from these, um, you know, try to play around with them. And if you can find a use for them that you feel comfortable with, go ahead and use them, but kind of keep them on reserve. All right. So go ahead and move on.